can he say definitively that nobody in his campaign, nobody that he's been associated with, had any contacts with any Russian agents? No. I, first of all, the answer is no, and we don't know of any any contacts with Russian agents. I know what the intelligence uh, committees in the House and the Senate were told by the FBI, and I know what I was told, and what I will tell you is that story was total baloney. Can Americans be confident that a Republican-controlled Congress can investigate this president thoroughly if necessary? I hope so, and I have to believe so. And then before I let you go... More hope than belief. <laughs> if you're worried that we're not going to look long and hard at what Russia did in our election because Trump won and Republicans in charge, you don't need to worry about that. We are. And 2017 is going to be a year of kicking Russia in the ass in Congress. So as Senate aide now confirms to NBC News that the bipartisan leadership of the Senate Intelligence Committee has sent letters to more than a dozen individuals, agencies and organizations directing them all to preserve records relevant to the committee's investigation into what Russia did in the context of the presidential campaign. Mike Reuters is now say they have matched the New York Times reporting, which I think is the biggest story in all of these over the last several weeks, saying that there were these contacts, they claim, between Trump associates and Russian intelligence officials, not diplomats, but intelligence officials during the campaign. You saw there, Reince Priebus denies it. What is your spidey sense on this? Is it, is it, is it true that there were contacts, or are they simply being investigated and it's all going to go away? Listen, the FBI does doesn't fool around and you don't get leaks out of the FBI unless there is something to the leak. So you have FBI field offices in Pittsburgh, San Francisco, and FBI counterintelligence teams in Washington, D.C., all honing in on one specific thing, contacts between Trump's people during the campaign and the Trump administration today. We've had Mike Flynn already leave because of something having to do with Russia, obviously. Now you have the president's own personal lawyer, Michael Cohen a lawyer outside of government, acting as de facto Secretary of State. All of this, this combustible concoction of chaos. There's alliteration for you. Wow. Huh? Like that? <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy. All, all of this leads to one yeah. question, a couple of questions. Russian contacts with the Trump administration. What does Rex Tillerson, the Secretary of State, oh. where is he in all of this?